Today is Monday. Yesterday we bailed some hay and I was tired. So it's like eight o'clock. So I'm finally getting going. We are going to go check on some crops. We got a storm last night. So I'm gonna go see if the wheat's flat or not. And I've got some beans to check on to see it when I need to spray them. I'm taking the Tahoe to check on crops because A, it has more gas in it than my truck and B, it has air conditioning. Today is a very good air conditioning kind of day. Well, the wheat went down in a couple places, but it's not nothing horrible. Nothing like what I thought it would be. A few patches on the headlands like where the nitrogen got overlapped or something. Oh, there's a bad patch. Beautiful looking wheat though. Looks like I need to go check for army worms. There's birds swooping in there. This is what wheat is supposed to look like. It's so thick you can't see the ground. And nice big heads on it. It's beautiful. It's waist tall. Man, this is gonna be some really good wheat. This is on the north side of our farm. There's a little bit of wheat. It's not flat, it's just kind of leaning. But largely, everything's still up standing. So these are the beans that I just ordered herbicide for. We've got lots of foxtail coming up through and a bunch of broadleaves, ragweed, lamb's quarters. Ah, oh, there's one. You can see aphids. There's a ton of aphids on some of these. Aphids will always be on the lower side of the newest trifoliate. Trifoliate meaning three leaf, one, two, three. They'll typically always be on the underside of this young trifoliate here. And they're loaded. Not all the beans are loaded, but there's enough of them where these beans are young enough. I'm gonna throw some insecticide in to smoke those little aphids. They have a suck, piercing sucking mouth part and they will suck juice out of the plant. So especially if it gets dry, it'll really suck yield potential out of these beans. Here's another weedy soybean field. This one was actually sprayed pre-emergent. Well, back from my scouting trip, things look pretty good still. We got a good amount of rain, that's for sure. Overall, the crops are still standing and things are looking all right. They're a little weedy and um, the corn that I sprayed is looking a little sad because it's gotta metabolize the weed killer. In another few days, that stuff's gonna turn around and look really good. In other news, I found Nellie last night. She was at the neighbor's house, like half a mile away. Yesterday when we were bailing, we left her home and she must have not liked that very much. And she jumped out of the window because she's a farm dog and she needs to be with us all the time, obviously. I don't know, I, I, that dog does some funny things sometimes. Now I'm gonna go back to the farm and spray some beans. Oh, oh. First I have to stop somewhere and grab my sprayer fill hose because uh, somebody likes to steal it. I won't tell you who takes it, but I will tell you. I now know what I'm gonna get my brother for Christmas. Got 75 acres of spray at 10 gallons an acre. So 750 gallons of water in there. And then these are our chemicals here. I hope I have enough, I'll figure that out in a minute. But what we're gonna be doing is spraying for foxtail. This product here is clethodim. That's gonna take care of the grasses. This is for residual broadleaf control. This is for the aphids. That's insecticide. We only spray that if we have, absolutely have to. This is for uh, this harmony. That is for broadleaves that are already emerged, like lamb's quarters and ragweed, which hopefully we don't have too many of those because we sprayed this before the beans emerge so that there's a barrier there already that prevents those types of things from emerging. And then the last little bit is gonna get the stuff there that's on the buggy, it's called Bassagran. And that is for a field where I screwed up and I didn't get the pre-emerge put on. Things just happened and I never got around to doing it. So the trick to getting the right spray mix is to do the right math. Uh, a quart per 100 gallons, so I'm gonna need seven quarts. Hold on, what am I gonna say? Set aside the chemicals so I, I know I'm not gonna screw something up. And then I write it down on a piece of paper Otherwise, with some of these things, if you don't mix it right, you could kill the crop that you wanna not kill, or you could be doing something that was off label and that's not cool. Now it's time to get my gloves on and put these things in, then we're gonna be good to go.
we got all the chems loaded up in. So now I'm gonna start the tractor up and start agitating the tank. All you have to do is start the pump and the agitation lines just like cycle the whole mix through and it makes sure everything is evenly mixed and that every little droplet is the same. There you go everybody, that's how you top load a sprayer. There's about 25 gallons of chemicals and probably 725 gallons of water in that load of mix. Everyone freaks out about pesticides. Now you can tell them, you know, most of what farmers spray on their crops is water. And they're gonna look at you and be like, huh? And then you can tell them, why don't you just subscribe to the Schrader's YouTube channel and you can learn all about it. And that is a genius idea. I, I've never even had such a great idea. So that's all, that's, that is 95% water probably. I'll actually do the math so that we can figure that out together. I was wrong. It's not 95% water, it's 97% water. Now we get to do the fun part where we sit in the air conditioning and spray. We should probably throw some fuel in this thing. We're getting down to part of a tank. I like the magnetic holder. It's very powerful. This is my new tripod. Hey, okay, it doesn't really hold up the camera very well. There's a nut I have to tighten. This is my lunchbox for the day. The pole. All right, we're all working. Here we go. These beans are just absolutely loaded with them. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all on the stem, all up underneath on the leaves. So the aphids secrete some like sugary sap stuff and mold likes to grow on it. So that's what that black, what this black stuff is, is sooty mold from the aphids secreting their junk. We're gonna kill them. They're gonna be dead, but we're feeding America, so something has to die in order for us to live. The left wing doesn't like to go down, so I have to shake it a little bit. go so I guess tomorrow we'll wrap this up but for now I'm gonna run home and catch up with Michelle I just wanted to say thank you for watching and thanks for helping me get this stuff sprayed and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time